During the summer, when many collegiate athletes go home, ballplayers like Alex Edwards spend their time away from school in the Prospect League. This has definitely been a great experience for me. It's a very historic field. The fans have been great. We, we sell out a lot, a bunch of packed, packed games here. So it's, it, it really makes it a great environment to play at, and it's, it's really fun. From June through the first days of August, baseball in Danville picks up where the local high school season leaves off. Some slightly older athletes spend their summer sharpening their skills at Danville Stadium and 14 other cities in the Prospect League. But the collegiate players with the Danville Dans the last several years only tell part of the story there. When Jeannie Cook first became aware of the stadium, it was as a fan. The park was built in the mid-40s as a minor league venue. This park opened in 1946, and so it's been here many, many, many years. It's rostered over 70 major league players or coaches. Uh, many famous people have played here that weren't actually rostered, for example, Pee Wee Reese played here, and Jackie Robinson played here, and Satchel Paige played here. So it has a fabulous baseball history. Cook says Danville's time as a host city for minor league baseball ended in 1982, after a California Angels affiliate played at the stadium. 21 years ago, long after teams like the Danville Suns, Dodgers, and Roosters took to the diamond, Cook was offered the opportunity to help renovate the facility. And then some high schools used it, a local team or two used it, and eventually when we uh, came together and decided we were going to save this historic park. We looked at what would give people entertainment, what would provide good baseball, but what might be less costly for the community than minor league ball. And of course, a 1946 stadium doesn't suit the current requirements for minor league baseball. And we came across the CICL, which at that time was the Central Illinois Collegiate League. Had a rich history, many major leaguers have played for the CICL, and uh, we decided it would be a fit, and certainly it has been a fit. This is our 21st year of being in the CICL, which has been rebranded the Prospect League. Uh, the Danville Dans currently have 18 uh, players that have played in the majors and many more that have played professional baseball. So it suits our community and it suits this historic old park. Fixing up Danville Stadium is just part of what it's taken to lure in crowds there. It's also continually improving the product on the field. That's manager Steve Beezer's job. He brings 13 years of experience with him, including big league stints with the New York Mets and Pittsburgh Pirates. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the advantage of being a former professional guy is you get, you get to uh, be instructed and coached by some of the best guys in the game of baseball. And, uh, you know, as a, as a coach myself, what I did is I took the, uh, you know, the best parts of, of of everybody I came across and kind of put it into my own philosophy and and uh, kind of used you know what I what really worked for me and, and what I thought worked for other players and and you just kind of work off of that and you know in this game you n you're never going to know everything uh, you know you're still learning uh, every single day there's something new that comes up and, and you got to learn and you got to adjust and you got to move on with it and and that's what's so great about this game is the fact that it, it's it's constant adjustment no matter what level you're at you're always adjusting and, and that's what you got to do as a coach, that's what you got to do as a player. And the Dans likely wouldn't be playing today if it weren't for the story of one of baseball's most storied sluggers. Before games could resume in Danville, the stadium was rehabbed for a film project. It became one of the backdrops for the 1992 movie, The Babe. The stadium belongs to the city of Danville. We've just leased it for all these years um, and helped put it back together. But they stepped to the plate and they said, you know, having a, a major movie here would be absolutely fabulous. And so the city helped with the structure, uh, making sure it was secure and making sure that it will last a long time into the future. So in essence, you might say that Babe Ruth saved us. While the fans continue to come into Danville Stadium each year, Jeannie Cook says she'd still like to realize the dream of having a baseball museum in the city so that Danville's minor league and collegiate baseball history isn't lost. <laughs>